Dr. Richard Alley is a perfect example of the kind of highly accomplished, boots on the glacier, working, publishing climate scientist that is the inspiration and resource for this series. Dr. Alley has recently created Earth the Operator's Manual on PBS, one of the best, most informative productions yet on the topic of global climate change. Best of all, Dr. Alley is now releasing a series of short, information-packed YouTube videos you can share with people you know who may still have their heads in the sand about climate change. It's called, appropriately, How to Talk to an Ostrich. I'm including one of my favorites here in its entirety, so you can see what I mean, and at the end of this video there will be links to more. I hope you'll watch them, enjoy them, share them, and spread them around. The effects of CO2 were confirmed by basic research that had absolutely nothing to do with climate change. A continuance of the upper air program will provide scientific data concerning the physics of the upper atmosphere. World War II was over, but the Cold War had begun. The U.S. Air Force needed to understand the atmosphere for communications and to design heat-seeking missiles. At certain wavelengths, carbon dioxide and water vapor block radiation. So the new missiles couldn't see very far if they used a wavelength that CO2 absorbs. Research at the Air Force Geophysics Laboratory in Hanscom, Massachusetts, produced an immense database with careful measurements of atmospheric gases. Further research by others applied and extended those discoveries clearly showing the heat-trapping influence of CO2. The Air Force hadn't set out to study global warming. They just wanted their missiles to work. But physics is physics. The atmosphere doesn't care if you're studying it for warring or warming. Adding CO2 turns up the planet's thermostat. So, as you can see, simple, short, and authoritative. I think it's a resource everyone should know about. Click the links at the right for more ostrich videos, and don't forget, we'll continue the discussion at climatecrocs.com and in the next Climate Denial Croc of the Week. <laughs>